Hello, everyone. My name is Ryo Takashi from the University of Tokyo. Today, I'd like to talk about this project, Telemetering, a batteries and wireless ring shaped keyboard. This work has been done with Masaki Kumoto from Microsoft Corporation and my colleagues, Jangyo, Takuya, Ushiki, and my advisor, Yoshiro Kahara. As we all know, wearable devices like smartphones and smart glass are popular. However, they are great input interface. That's because the touch screen area is very limited, because it is difficult to type text. So, previous research has explored wearable input interface. Here, we introduce the ring shaped keyboard that supports text input by finger typing. This consists of five ring shaped sensors, which take the finger typing, and one wrist one shaped reader, which receives the information from the sensors. And thus, the ring shaped keyboard supports high speed text input with small typing force. However, the previous wireless ring shaped keyboard requires battery to each ring because the rings need to empower the components. This causes two problems. First, the button is bulky, so this makes the user uncomfortable to wear the five rings. Second, the battery quick rings require the user to charge them manually. So, we, we aim to remove the battery from the ring. Here, I introduce the first batteryless and wireless ring-shaped keyboard named Termitring. Termitring consists of five batteryless ring-shaped sensor cord and a wrist one shaped reader card. Because the rings and the wristband are coupled inductively, the wristband can receive the sensor information wirelessly. So, Termitring can detect which finger type like this. Also, by decoding the typing frequency to the characters, we can type text like wrist. To wear the Termitring, we use passive inductive telemetry. This is one kind of wireless sensing technology, and this mainly uses a passive sensor code, a readout code, and the impedance measurement circuit related to the readout code. Because of the inductive coupling between the two coils, the input impedance of the readout code is changed by the input variation of the sensor code. So, the impedance measurement circuit can detect the sensor value wirelessly. However, in OK, the inductive coupling is very weak. So, the change of the input impedance is very small, and the previous telemetry cannot detect the sensor change. To overcome the challenge, we need to increase the inductance both sensor and readout coil at high frequency. Basically, it is difficult because of the short wavelengths of the, at the high frequency. But distributed reactance compensation technique, simply called DRC, can make a coil at a high inductance at high frequency. DRC splits a single long coil into multiple short coils by inserting multiple capacitors to mitigate the wavelength limitations. Then we develop a balanced split circuit. Using this circuit, the small change of the input impedance can be appeared through the change of the output phase. This is done by matching the reference load they bridge to the impedance of the readout coil they read out, which results in very high SNR. Since we assign the different neutron frequency to our five rings, and finally, the finger typing actions can be detected independently by tracking the phase change of each resonant frequency. Thus, we pick up the typing action through the change of the output phase and decode the typing sequencing to the characters. This is the typing recognition rate about term -tuning. As you can see, the four typing patterns are show very bad rate because it is difficult to type these patterns, try and fail to sell. Based on the result, I use the pattern except the four patterns for A to Z characters inputs. Finally, I would like to summarize my work. In this work, I introduced Termitwin, a batteryless and wireless ring-shaped keyboard. As future works, first, we need to improve the typing recognition rate and thus implement a standard Termitwin. Finally, we thought a passive inductive Termitwin will be utilized for other wearable devices. Thank you for your attention.